Hey everyone, I'm so glad that you have been on this journey praying and fasting with us. Prayer and fasting are honestly one of those things that can be tough for me. I get to the point where I can feel like I just don't have the time or I'll just get to, to it tomorrow or someone else can do it, but I'm not going to. And fasting is one of those things that you know is good for you, but you really don't want to do it. It's kind of like working out. You know if you get to the gym and you begin to lift weights and you begin to run on the treadmill that the exercise is good for you, but honestly, you really don't want to do it. I don't know about you, but I know that many times I found myself inwardly kicking and screaming my way to the start of it, and by the end, I'm so glad I did it. Right now, we are pushing forward in this fast, and what is it that you have been believing for? Or are you believing for anything at all? I can remember a few years back when God was dealing with me on what I expected from Him. I knew praying and fasting was what I was supposed to do. I knew it was something I needed to do. So I asked, but I really didn't think anything would happen. One night when me and my wife were driving back from dinner, I felt God say to me, DJ, I want you to ask me for what you need, expecting me to give you what you need. When I heard that, my perspective changed, and when I did it, it didn't happen overnight, but it took a few weeks for God to give me what I needed. When we shift our perspective from doing it because we know it's what we're supposed to do, to doing it and believing God will answer it, it changes us. Mark 11:24 24 says, I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe you've received it, it will be yours. I love that he says that we can ask him for anything. For me, I pray and ask like I've placed the order, I'm just waiting for it to be delivered. Pray like you've ordered it on Amazon Prime and you're just waiting for that two day shipping to get to you. And maybe you, what you need hasn't come to you yet during this fast. And honestly, maybe it won't because it's not the right time or he wants to give you something better. But I wanna encourage you to keep praying and keep asking from God. Matthew 7, 7 tells us to keep on asking and we will receive what we ask for. Believing comes with faith. The Bible talks about how faith the size of a mustard seed can move a mountain. If I had a mustard seed in my hand right now, you'd barely be able to see it or not see it at all. Something so small and so insignificant can move the mountains we face in our lives. Again, I'm so happy to be on this journey together with you. Let's finish this out trusting and believing for what God has in store for us.